Hey, so what's going on guys? Matt here with Director Reviews and welcome back to another video. In this video, we got something special. A big thanks to Star Wheels for loaning me a unit of their brand new Hopper Plus. So right here, I have the Hopper Plus in this very nice matte black colour. So before we begin this review, if you haven't subscribed to this channel already, do hit the subscribe button and also enable notifications so you can get notified on the latest videos which I post. And without further ado, let's get right into the review of the Hopper Plus from Star Wheels. Viewing the Hopper Plus feels like deja vu because it borrows so much features from the M2020 e-bike which I reviewed a couple of months back. So let's go through the tech specs real quick. So this has a 500 watt motor. So in comparison with the 350 watt motor on the original Hopper, this is a major upgrade. And even if you compare it to the M2020 e-bike, this is actually a much bigger upgrade. So yes, certain things are borrowed but certain things have been upgraded. It also has 14 inch rims which I will show you a close up later on. And it weighs 21 kgs. So it's not too heavy and not too light. So it's just in the right weight where it's still portable but not too heavy to carry around. It also has a max speed of 35 kilometers per hour. But however, I tried it on speed 3 and it managed to achieve 37 kilometers per hour which is a uh, very fast for an e-bike in fact so there are three modes to this bike so the first one is the fully electric mode where you're just using the battery power and the motor so that will get you around 30 to 40 kilometers on one charge so that is on average depends on what speed you use and what kind of surface you're riding on what kind of road conditions so on hybrid mode hybrid mode means you're using both the motor as well as pedaling so that will get you around 70 to 80 kilometers on one charge which is much better you exercise and you also get a boost in power as well but of course in terms of the gear ratio you will definitely not be able to cycle up to 35 or 37 kilometers power because it's impossible to pedal at that speed because this has a single gear setup so the max payload for this e-bike is also 120 kgs so since we have ran through the specs of this e-bike let me give you a walkthrough and show you the different components that are on the e-bike itself so taking a tour of the front of the e-bike you get the two led lamps so you can see right here for the front so these are the headlamps pretty bright at night and then you get suspension which is not available on the hopper or even the m2020 e-bike so this is something new for the hopper plus this makes the ride a lot more comfortable than compared to the hop original hopper or even the m2020 e-bike so on the front you can see these rims are identical to the m2020 e-bike so these are 14 inch rims versus the 12 inch rims on the original hopper so these rims are more than adequate i should say comfortable enough and they look good as well it has these red accents on the rims so i do like that and then you get the mud flap as usual and then you get a cable disc brakes so these are adequate for the speed this is only going a max of 37 kilometers per hour so these disc brakes do the job of course these disc brakes haven't been run in yet haven't broken in yet so it give it some time and eventually they'll run in so moving to the frame of the e-bike itself we get this powder coated alloy frame so this frame is stronger and lighter as the characteristic of alloy and it's also you can see this folding mechanism right here in the middle which i will demonstrate to you later on and for suspension on the rear we get the same hydraulic suspension on the back so it's very similar to the m2020 e-bike and then we get the same 14 inch rims as well so you can see right here with the same disc brake setup so this is a rear wheel drive e-bike so you can see right here this is the motor portion okay let's take a look at the back light and see right here these are the back brake lights and they do flash when you press the brake let me show you an example you can see they are flashing so it does the job at night really bright and very visible so moving on to the top of the brake light this is where we get the mounting plate for your basket or maybe a child seat or something like that so this is something new compared with the m2020 e-bike where they didn't have this it was just a brake light at the back so it's a good touch where you can add accessories optional accessories as well all right so let's uh, take a look at the seat so this is the same seat you get with the m2020 e-bike very comfortable and honestly i have no complaints with the seat in the middle you also get a carrying handle 
can see right here so it's easier to carry the e-bike once it's folded not the easiest e-bike to fold because it does have the battery the motor and all the other stuff the electronic components so it's slightly heavy and more tedious to fold as compared with the let's say a regular foldable bicycle so moving on to the handlebar side of things we get the regular stuff which you will get on a regular bicycle but of course with some added function because this is an electric bike so we get the on and off switch for your lights and you get this horn which is too soft to be heard anyway so i don't know why they included this horn but anyway it's a function there just in case of emergencies so moving on to the electronic side of things which is the throttle itself the module so this is what you get you get a very simple display this is exactly the same as the m2020 e-bike but this has bluetooth app support which i'll be showing you guys later on so this is a key system so you just have to turn the key and it powers on as simple as that you get three modes you get speed one speed two and speed three all will result in you getting different top speeds and then you get an odometer as well as your battery percentage so you can see your speed right here but uh, honestly i would rather just use a phone clamp and use the app so you can see the actual speed because that's more accurate than the one on the controller itself and you get the brakes as well so this controls the cable front and rear disc brakes so it's simple as that very simple and easy to use so before i forget you also get the throttle as well so the throttle is integrated into the right side of the handlebar so it's very easy you just twist it like you would a motorcycle so it's a very uh, convenient spot where they actually placed it so i do like it's very ergonomic so in terms of storage wise where you can actually fold this e-bike you can fold it in two places right here at the handlebar i've actually uh, pulled this down and I've released it because it's very hard to actually demonstrate it on camera itself but it's very simple it's a latch where you just have to pull it down and your handlebar stem folds just like this so it's very simple and easy and then one more is right here in the middle so this is the new portion where they actually made the frame itself foldable so let me show you you just have to pull the lever and you're good to go of course when you do that you do have to fold the pedals as well so the pedals are also foldable you can see right here simple as that both sides you do have to fold it and then when you do fold the center it's hard to show on camera but i'm going to try so you, all you need to do is actually just bend the frame in just like this and you are good to go so the e-bike becomes so much more compact as you can see right here just to demonstrate how compact the hopper plus is you can see i have my siroco right here and the siroco booth is not that large because it is a hatchback car but you see with some persuasion i still managed to fit in the hopper plus so that's a very good thing this center folding mechanism actually really helps it be more compact so coming to the app for this e-bike it's called mini robot you can get it downloaded both on android and ios so it's very simple all you need to do is open the app and it connects to the e-bike right away of course you do have to go through the pairing process for the first time so right here we can see our battery percentage right here so i have 91 percent not sure whether you can see that on screen so you have 91 percent and you get your speed right here so this is very accurate so there are a couple of modes which you can choose so there's comfort mode there is normal and there's sport mode however i'm not able to choose here because i do have to select it on the controller module itself so on the bottom we also get a lock button a tail light which is on and off you can control it right here and last but not least the cruise control so this has cruise control so you can lock it at the speed that you want to ride and not keep on fiddling with the throttle so for the settings you get a couple of settings you can see your remaining mileage you can see the mileage for this journey of course i haven't ridden it yet so it's still zero k kilometers so the total mileage you can see right here is a very new e-bike so i just got it over from star wheel so traveled 7.5 kilometers you can see the temperature and then you can see your total driving time your current speed remaining power and all this basically is the same thing and then you do have to set your battery capacity which is at 10 amp hours so currently it's using 0.1 amps so of course i'm not riding the e-bike but the e-bike is on and then we also have the voltage you can see voltage right here you can see the power which is uh, fluctuating you can see the wattage and also you can update the firmware for this e-bike so it's pretty sick and it's a very simple app to use in my opinion uh when i first used it i thought it's going to be very complicated but after using it for one to two minutes i was able to get myself acquainted with this app pretty easily so in conclusion after using this e-bike for the last couple of days i do have my opinions uh, set on this e-bike 
so in terms of ride in terms of riding comfort definitely is much better than let's say the M2020 or even the original hopper it feels a lot more comfortable and on top of that because of the more powerful motor the 500 watt motor I get more pull as compared with even the M2020 e-bike which was already a pretty fast e-bike in my opinion but just like all products uh, no product is perfect so in terms of the seating position I prefer the M2020 e-bike or even the original hopper so because of the new center folding mechanism and the fact that it is longer I feel that my riding angle is slightly towards the front so when I do take like fast corners especially because this has a much higher top speed I feel like I'm going to fall off the e-bike and one more thing is this folding mechanism right here I feel that because this is an electric bike and not a regular bike the lack of a gasket or waterproof seal around the portion right here the opening right here eventually the electronics will get shorted out because of moisture there is one hole on top right here and another one right here so in terms of how waterproof this e-bike is i have my reservations and my concerns as well so i did give my feedback already to star wheels and probably they'll be doing it in the next batch i'm not sure when they'll be doing it but this is something to bear in mind but uh with them adding a gasket here and over here i feel that that would actually help preserve the longevity of the e-bike because definitely Malaysia is tropical weather so other than that uh, for the price of uh, 2899 ringgit um, I think even though it's on the prices side it's still cheaper than the M2020 e-bike of course that is a special edition model a limited edition model but this e-bike has all the new functions like the app which goes with the e-bike the front shocks and also the center folding mechanism so I think for the price and for how compact it becomes, I think it's really, really worth it. So this concludes my video. If you're interested in this e-bike, I'll leave the link to purchase this e-bike in the description below. So you can check it out and make your purchase right there. So that's all for this video. Thanks guys for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you did like this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one.